Grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move is on. What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Sun Tzu. Well, look what I found today, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I found the top 10 most expensive watches in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Well, without further ado, let's check it out, shall we? Fatek Philip no Nautilus, okay. I've seen this watch, I heard a lot about this watch, ladies and gentlemen. Preferably the blue dial. It was one of the most rarest watches ever done by Fatek Philip. And I think so, it was done to commemorate the 30 years of the Fatek Philip watch range, ladies and gentlemen. And this specific, you know, blue dial looks absolutely spectacular. I know it does not look good in this kind of a setup, but if you do look it in real life, a chef case ladies and gentlemen but if you do want to see check out more on this watch go check out nico lenard's youtube channel links is down in the description below ladies and gentlemen but thanks philip john va house phillips sold this watch for 6.5 million dollars 6.5 million dollars ladies and gentlemen that is so special well it has a striking blue dial and it also bears the logo of another esteemed luxury brand tiffany and go co for nine patek philippe stainless, stainless steel, steel reference 5016 okay here's what i got for you question ladies and gentlemen a general question do you like watches with leather straps or one like this one ladies and gentlemen let me show you a stainless steel strap and also do you like a watch which is an automatic or that runs in you know a battery ladies and gentlemen obviously this is not that uh, i mean this is not a uh, fatigue philip or a rolex but this is still a good watch ladies and gentlemen this is a brand called as delton made in india and this watch cost about 1500 to 2000 rupees in india uh well this is also one of the good okay, watches ladies guys, and gentlemen one zero and when we say again, we mean right now. Number eight, Patek Philippe Gobi Milano Pink Gold reference. Yeah, are you a big fan of gold as well as rose gold? I don't think so, right? Watches specifically, if you want to see that, ladies and gentlemen, a watch looks classy as well as sexy, to say the least, at least for in a men's hand. It's going to be stainless steel, ladies and gentlemen, specifically in this color. Inside dial does not matter. Obviously, I told you before, the number one watch is the Fatek Philippe John VF, you know, the blue dial watches. And what's next on the list, ladies and gentlemen? Number seven, Patek Philippe Another Patek. Another Petit Philippe two crown world time reference, ladies and gentlemen. I think so. This is kind some kind of a flunky watch where you can see all the times around the world. I know this watch too. I've seen it somewhere around in auction, and I consider that this watch was actually uh, you know a special made watch as well as. 7.5 million dollars cost of the watch but also it was a limited run so you might not see it you get in it. it's so many patek philip right yes patek another fitting philip yeah i cannot read it sorry about that to the nines tens and beyond this patek which sold for a cool nine million in nine million dollars number five Patek. Another Patek, Patek Philip. Goddamn, Patek Philip does make a whole lot of watches in different five points. We need to check out Patek Philip. Yes, I know I'm typing the name wrong. Just let's go on to the Patek Philip. Let's see what they sell right now. If, if my wife's a little bit stuck, I got some you know cold as well as other things that are going on. my wife's not good, but still, let's see the collection. They're still, ooh. Grand complications. They got some good watches. Okay, this is not that good, but still, you know my my favorite kind of watch is gonna be this twenty four. Looks not that much of a great, right? Uh, yes, when you first see it, it's not gonna be that great, ladies and gentlemen. But when you do see it in person, it's gonna you know it's simple, it's functional, it tells you the time. You do not need to you know add a lot of bling to it. Obviously, in today's world, rappers are all around the world are blinging their watch out. Why? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But see this watch in particular. It looks same as... I'm, I'm not going to be comparing this Patek Philip to a grand you know, a normal Indian Delton company watch. But look at this Delton watch, for example, ladies and gentlemen. It looks super cool, right? And also, I have some other watches right over here. Maybe I'll show you this type of watches in another video separate, ladies and gentlemen. But if you do want to check it out, I do got a Rolex on my hand that i like to show you ladies and gentlemen well this is the rolex submariner ladies and gentlemen one of the most beautiful pieces of technology and this is the oyster perpetual dial ladies and gentlemen i had a photograph of this beautiful watch on the screen right now ladies and gentlemen i i got it from my granddad 
who just passed away a couple of years back but still i do have a collection of good watches over there and also also you might have seen the you know eyes to purpose one also i do got a presidential day date rolex ladies and gentlemen this was also you know from my granddad look at this beautiful time piece ladies and gentlemen absolutely spectacular but anyway let's go back into the top 10 most expensive it things it's mohammed tufek a tussan reference 1518 this watch was if you do want to watch okay if you do want to buy any of these watches ladies and gentlemen keep sure to keep the reference numbers in mind because there are a hell lot of uh, complications as well as hell lot of you know duplicate watches out there in the market if you do want to get the original one Philip stainless steel reference 15 get that another fetek philip like that okay i'm not a big fan of this type of uh, fetek philip ladies and gentlemen but it looks great it's rare expectations were high for this piece as it was the only one of the four that hadn't yet been up for auction oh Even not for so auction okay stainless steel is definitely the most low key yeah 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 i get it i get it but of course watch on the next please do give me a rolex daytona or something like that ladies and gentlemen i'm still fed up of seeing a lot of fetek philip i get that fetek philip so do does some beautiful watches but still there are other brands you know where's the richard mill where's the rolex where's the what to say another brand i cannot i cannot get it in mind breitliner hublot radio where's all these brands of watches out there right 6239 okay this stop the presses this we have a different this is really not impressive with the amount of beautiful watch like these two rolexes that they make out there this is not that pretty watch ladies and gentlemen obviously if you do want to get a rolex please do get the rolex i'm sorry guys excuse me one second yeah the oyster perpetual as well as the presidential day date ladies and gentlemen these are absolutely spectacular watches look at the time frame ladies and gentlemen look at the beauty of the inner piece and also look at the stainless steel frame it still works to this day ladies and gentlemen and if you want to go you know a little bit of uh, what to say a little bit of classy style old style gold ladies and gentlemen go with the beautiful rado ladies and gentlemen actually fun fact ladies and gentlemen <laughs> I got the top 5 watches that I actually think that will not break your bank which cost about 6.7 billion dollars like this watch but I do got some top 5 watches that you need to collect and it's under the price point of 1200 to 1500 dollars ladies and gentlemen want to check it out okay so let me let me shoot you over to the notes so this I have taken oh, here are the five top five most watches that look cool, classy as well as it's not going to break your watch and and also it is equal to that of a Rolex, ladies and gentlemen. Particularly this watch, ladies and gentlemen, it looks some kind of this one, but still it is a beautiful Rolex, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let me tell you, the first and foremost is going to be Rado. Yes, I know Rado is being off the brand. Just yeah, give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. of the brand for so many times but here's the beautiful watch that i wanted to tell you ladies and gentlemen raidos golden horse this was produced somewhere in the time of 1960 1970s ladies and gentlemen and if you do want to get it today it's little bit costly but still it is not that much costly in considering that of a you know fetek philip a rolex or a, what to say a hublot or even a richard mill ladies and gentlemen if you want to check out some of the beautiful watches are like the you know uh, sports persons or you know hollywood actors have please do feel free to comment it down in the comment section below because i know some comedians out there who have some beautiful watches out there ladies and gentlemen so first up raiders golden horse right next up is going to be the omega yes that omega ladies and gentlemen omegas by what to say uh, james bond there are good james bond watches also don't worry ladies and gentlemen but this this is on a whole another le level ladies and gentlemen and, and also in india omega is a little bit too costly but what do you think of this watch ladies and gentlemen this is the omega devil prestige prestige yes so this is also on the same price point of you know 1500 to 1600 usd and this watch also looks cool but here's the next part ladies and gentlemen bermasures Hampton. Yes, you might not heard about this brand, ladies and gentlemen, but this is also another brand that is in the market for an old times, you know, uh, in in the price point as well as you know somewhere around the Rolex time too, ladies and gentlemen. This is an England style. I mean, England manufactured watch, and it is actually a replacement to the Ledger. <laughs> 
watch which is you know the reverse watch which you can turn it yes so this is another watch Bermia and Mercedes Hampton M O A one zero five two three. Keep keep the number specific, ladies and gentlemen. There are fake watches out there. Don't get faked out. You know, don't get your self in a faked out. But look at this watch, classy, small dial, looks good, no blinging out, leather strap, works till the end of your life, ladies and gentlemen. So this is number third. And next up is gonna be the Hamilton Khaki Pilot. You might not heard of this brand too but still ladies and gentlemen it is one of the best brands out there ladies and gentlemen and and this is not uh one second i'll tell you more about that so this is the hamilton's khaki pilot pioneer ladies and gentlemen check out that you know uh, check out the brand name check out the exact specifications and also do remember the reference number ladies and gentlemen so this is the khaki aviation pilot pioneers ladies and gentlemen look at the beautiful dial it looks same as that of a rolex nothing more complicated nothing more serious than that ladies and gentlemen it looks absolutely perfect so this is another watch number four on the list it also goes around in the same ballpark figures of four thousand sorry thousand five hundred to thousand six hundred dollars uh, used as well as a new ladies and gentlemen so new could go somewhere around two thousand dollars or so and next up is going to be one of my favorite watches ladies and gentlemen christopher watch c63 amt ladies and gentlemen not the amg mercedes version but the gmt ladies and gentlemen look at this beautiful watch classy stylish as well as just give me one second ladies and gentlemen the c63 c lander gmt ladies and gentlemen one of the most beautiful watches that i ever laid hands i mean my eyes on ladies and gentlemen look at the beautiful complication and also the five watches that I told you are all automatic ladies and gentlemen you might be wondering what is the difference between an automatic as well as a battery operator like the normal watches obviously let me tell you ladies and gentlemen this is a battery operated watch this is the brand called as Dilton this is the Indian brand ladies and gentlemen that I was talking to and uh, and this is the Rolex you know <coughs> Ice to submarine series but the difference between these two is ladies and gentlemen this as long as there is battery in this watch this battery will work forever ladies and gentlemen and this is an automatic watch which means that this watch works only on the movement of your hand and when you do remove it it has a power reserve about one or two days ladies and gentlemen depending on how much time you use the watch so that's the difference between an automatic as well as you know uh, a normal battery operated that is a lithium ion battery operated watch but these are the top five most beautiful watches in the world ladies and gentlemen and 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 also this looks entirely just like a rolex or a radio ladies and gentlemen obviously let me move the mic a little bit this is my beautiful watch collection ladies and gentlemen i'll sometime you know uh, when i do get another video chance i'll explain more about what and all watches i do have in my collection because some you will might not see and some are actually golden antique pieces that are worth more than that of what you saw in the video ladies and gentlemen so if you do want to check that video out ladies and gentlemen obviously msmojo.com links are down in the description below and if you do want to get some watches and you're outside india uh, i mean outside india ladies and gentlemen please do check out prideandpinion.com ladies and gentlemen if you do want to know more about pride and pinion and who operates and who owns this it's none other than an another favorite youtuber of mine known as nico Leonard, ladies and gentlemen you might have not i mean might have heard about it but he is in the youtube scene for the past what two years or so and if you do want to check out his channel also he does so much around watch stuff ladies and gentlemen please do check the link in the description below with that said ladies and gentlemen uh, let me show you the Nico Lenoch channel, ladies and gentlemen. And here's the Pride and Pinion, uh, I mean, website, ladies and gentlemen. All the links are down in the description below. And this is Nico Lenoch's channel. Uh, well, he talks a lot about watches. And if you do want to check him out, too, links are down in the description. But that's all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you like this video. Hope this video was interesting. Well, you know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Tell like the subscribe turn on your post notification so that you will not you know miss out any of the new videos that i'm uploading and i'll see you on the next episode of sunil until then it's your boy sunil signing off take care and peace